fans. My name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm so excited. I have waited months to share with y'all this and we are going to be sharing with y'all our baby boys room. In today's video, I was trying to decide if I wanted to break it up into two different parts and I decided that I would. So this week you'll see um, on this video will be all his like big furniture and through the last few months, my husband Drew has been putting some things together like his crib, different things like that, hanging a few things on the wall, hanging the curtains. So we're gonna go through and share with y'all the bigger pieces of furniture and how we kind of laid out his room. And I'll share with y'all in the description box down below some of the links for the things if I can find them. And then the next video that hopefully will be posted after this, I'm actually gonna film both of these videos today. My mom's coming over here to help me. And so I'm hoping that I can get both of them filmed and then this week work on editing them. There will be a video of his room tour, like us putting up little decorations in his room and then the complete room tour of how it's set up and what it looks like. We are a few days away from being 35 weeks pregnant. Now that his room is like all done, the bags are all packed, like we are just so excited. It's honestly hard to sleep at night because I keep having dreams of meeting him. So I'm really excited. If you're new to my channel, this is our first baby. And so whenever we found out we were having a little boy, I was trying to think of how I wanted to do the nursery and there were so many ideas online. It was hard to kind of see what I wanted to go with. And I kind of found this uh, inspiration a picture on Pinterest and kind of ran with it. And then the other little touches are just things that if I was out and about and fell in love with, I just added it into his nursery. So there's no like specific theme. It's just, to me, it's so sweet and cozy. And I just love sitting in this little chair and just coming in here and just imagine holding him and rocking him and feeding him. I hope that y'all, if you haven't already, would hit that subscribe button and um, turn on your notification bells for the next videos that are coming up. Like I said, it's going to be his complete room tour with all the decorations in it. And then if we haven't went into labor yet, then we were planning on doing like a nest with me video. I've already been filming a lot of clips of like my mom and them over here helping me do things. And I want to put together like a little nest with me of some other little things that I'm doing and little like stations that were sitting around the house, like beside my bed, um, like a little nighttime station area and things like that. So that will be the next one. And also I already have started contractions and was dilated at a two. And now the last time we checked was a two and a half. So we're like preterm labor. So I'm having to almost be on bed rest. Um, the doctor didn't put me on bed rest, but she told me to do very little. So again, hit that notification bell because I don't know when videos are going to be posted after this week. Um, it could be very sporadic because I'm not really planning on doing much of anything else besides maybe that nest with me video. So we're just going to kind of take it a day at a time. We'll kind of see when he gets here. They're saying that they don't think there's any way I'm going to make it full term, but he looks perfect and great and healthy. So if he gets here now, he wouldn't even have to go into the NICU with the way that he's looking now. So that's very exciting news. Like I said, the next few videos um, after his room tour is just going to kind of be played by ear. And then I'll be excited to share with y'all when he gets here. We're going to share just a little bit of his um, journey as the plans if it's not too chaotic. Like us going to the hospital whenever it's time to have him and um, in the hospital with him and the family. So hopefully I'm hoping to share like a little birth vlog with y'all, but it's not going to be like even close to like an in-depth video. It'll just kind of be kind of the process and maybe us bringing, a, bringing him home. So we'll see. And then we'll kind of do like a few videos of getting into the routine with him. Hopefully maybe some like little life updates. And then we'll start fall once we're ready and got a good routine with him. Okay. That's the plans. Sorry, it is very long and chatty, but I wanted to share with y'all kind of what's going on and tell y'all to be sure to hit the subscribe button. And then also follow me on Instagram over at Simply Lake and Lace because I share on my stories daily what's going on, kind of what I'm doing. I haven't been sharing as much over there as what I have been, but it's because I've been trying to get these YouTube videos in and it's too much to go between YouTube and Instagram. But once I finish these, like if I'm not putting up YouTube videos, I'll definitely be over on Instagram. So definitely check me out over there. 
So we're actually gonna rewind to a few months ago. I got this crib off of Wayfair. I'll try to link everything down below if I can find it. And I just absolutely loved this crib. And I loved capturing the moments of Drew putting all his big furniture together. And then these are some curtains that I ordered. They're actually blackout curtains and I got them from Amazon. And I loved this green color. <music> doctor's appointments and we went into home goods and I found this curtain rod and I loved the black rod and then like the marble balls at the end of it I just thought it was a very pretty and like elegant look to his room and then also this video is sponsored today and I would like to thank Design Do Us for sponsoring today's video so I'll share more of this later but I was so excited to be able to work with them because this is the absolute cutest thing ever Drew and I this was like one of our favorite things that we received <music> we picked up from Hobby Lobby and I love how you can turn them different ways so it can be like a flat shelf or you can turn it over and like store books or something on it um, so it kind of holds it holds the books up against the wall so I thought these were really nice and I did get them half off and I had the perfect little spot to put them and I'm really excited to share with y'all on the next video how we decorated these and then also I picked up this mirror from Kirkland's I fell in love with it y'all know that I love these little mirrors I have them like all around the house but I really liked this one and I did get it on sale there's hardly any time that I go to Kirkland's and don't get something on sale don't ever pay full price and then this i got from like a little plant nursery and i love this little pattern right here and i knew i wanted a plant on his shelf so we're gonna plant this up and then i'll share with y'all what this looks like on his shelf in another video <music> the video of all his furniture put together and where we put it in the room i've already shared this little piece with y'all on another video but this was on a collab also and i love this little wicker shelf to keep all his like little diapers and wipes and burp cloths and things like that and then we have his little diaper genie right here and then this piece i actually got local and i absolutely loved it i got it on clearance because i had a little imperfection and i wasn't planning on getting a white dresser i was thinking a wood toned one but the white actually are, turned out beautiful and then we already have a nail right there because we have a beautiful picture that we're going to be hanging there in the next video so stay tuned for that i love how this dresser had these two small drawers that were lined in velvet i just thought it would be so nice to be able to store like his little watches and things like that whenever he gets older but let's not talk about that but i'm hoping he can grow up with this dresser and then this is the piece that i wanted to talk to y'all more about so this is going to be his bassinet we have this piece in front of his windows but it's actually going to go in our bedroom and this will be where he sleeps and it is just such a beautiful 
bassinet. I love it so much. So I'll be sure to link them down below. But I love how it comes with this little stand where it rocks. And it'll be so easy and convenient to be right beside our bed. Um, so we can do night sleeps and the night changes. And he'll probably actually take lots of naps in this. Um, not only the night, but during the day. I just think this is so pretty. It's like so aesthetically pleasing. Um, and I loved the like little leather straps and we did wash um, all the mattress cover or the little covers and things also. Um, so it is machine washable. And then here's some other things that have lots of different styles and designs in these. And it looks like they even had the little dog beds too and little diaper changing stations. So definitely be sure to check them out. did get this rug off of rugs usa we have one identical to it but it's the black and tan that we have on our back patio and um actually that one's a size bigger this one's a size smaller and so i got that one off that website and i love it and we have another rug we put on top of it but i'll share with you all that on the next video and then this chair actually came from overstock so this was a gift from my mother-in-law and sister-in-law and i just love this chair it is so comfortable like i said i sit in this chair so much just like excited and giddy for him to get here and then also this little nightstand or this like little table in table came from home goods it was only like thirty dollars and it was perfect for what i needed it for and then here are the shelves hung up and i like i said we'll decorate them on the next video That my mom gifted us i believe this came from amazon it is so stinking precious i just love it so much um you had to order in three different parts but it is on my registry and i've shared my registry before if you want to go shop that but i just think it is so just simple and cute and i hope that he just loves it I am wanting us to do an accent wall and then have his name put over his bed but we'll get to that another day that won't even be in the next video that'll probably be done once he gets here um, a little project that we'll do once he gets here and things kind of settle down um just so we can kind of think on what we want the accent wall to look like now this piece right here i was so excited to find so the company i told y'all um that sent me that little wicker shelf that I put the little diapers in. Um, they had a shelf like this that was absolutely gorgeous, but it was on way back order and we wouldn't have got it till probably next year. So I ended up just saying never mind to that because I really wanted to have something here and I was able to find this at TJ Maxx for $200 or home goods. It was home goods. And I actually saw another one in another home goods that I went to. So I wanted to share with y'all the style number. So maybe if you're interested in this, you can find it. And then I love his little chandelier that I got from Rustic Relics. I love how it just is so pretty. And the legs to it are actually like little tree branches. So I think that it just fits and ties his little room all together. Okay, friends, well, that is all for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing those pieces and kind of the layout of his room. Y'all be sure to come back for next video to see his complete room tour and all his little decorations, um, little toys that we're using for his decor. It's just so cute. I love it. And I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up if you thought that this nursery turned out really cute. I hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys on the very next one. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.